this smart editor. In addition to the web editor, a so-called smart editor exists on the IP control center. It can be parameterized easily and intuitively, and the resulting smartphone, respectively tablet operation panels, have a clearly structurized display and operation philosophy. The Smart Viso is optimized for mobile browsers, all smartphones, tablets, and a room control device. All configuration settings of the Smart Visualization will, in analogy to the web editor, be made in the smarteditor.php. An important hint, you can open only one of the two editors at the same time and work on it. Password hints. To obtain the best security level, the IPCC offers triple password protection for the login process. There are two passwords for the editors and further on the user password. The IP Control Center offers also individual password protection for pages and functions, as it has been already explained in the general design chapter. As for the login passwords, here is a summary how they are created and how they can be changed. User password. This password can be defined in the ETS parameter page. If it has been set, the three control interfaces, Web Visualization, Smart Visu and Tablet Visu, share this login credentials. There is no username. Only the password has to be entered. Changes to this password can not only be done via ETS, but also be carried out by the user himself. For this purpose, he must open the page IP Control Center URL colon port slash password dot php. Here, as usual, the old password must be entered and a new one inserted twice to change the password. The web editor password. This password also must be set via the ETS download. It can't be changed by other means. The smart editor password. This password can only be set through the web editor in configuration password. By default, it is not set. You also do not need to remember the previous smart editor password. It is not required for the change. In the same dialog, a reset button can be pressed to restore to ETS password. This of course refers to the user password. The ETS default user password is stored in the IP control center and can be restored in this way. Don't forget, if the IP control center should be used via internet access, only a secure password provides sufficient security against manipulation. Therefore, all passwords should always be activated. Now let's go back to the smart and tablet Visu configuration. The design of this operation interface offers a direct control mode for the preferred operation in many cases, if possible, or a pop-up control dialog in more complex applications, like HVAC control. The pop-up control dialog will always be opened if the functions operation panel requires several keys, for example, with blinds control. The page call in the browser, which opens the smart editor, is similar to that of the web editor. IP address colon port slash smart editor dot php. 
Start into the Smart Editor configuration interface. After you have entered your password, the Smart Visu configuration interface appears. The handling of the Smart Editor is simplified as much as possible and reduced to only a few operation keys. At first you see three areas on the workspace. The main menu for buttons on top right, the topology toolbox on the upper left side and the process points or objects on the lower left side. Configuration. You start with the configuration button on the top right side. Here you can create and name the project. In the same dialog you also choose the style, the layout and the background theme. The user interface shows a small logo on top left, which is by default Siemens. You can replace it by your own logo here. Further down you find the configuration parameters which only apply for the tablet option. There are four containers in the tablet Visu. The top container. It shows some important info that you always want to see immediately when you open the page, like outside air temperature or time date. The left container, which hosts the first level menu structure, also called topology, which is either direct control and display lists or further branches to follow up menus. The bottom container, which is optional and is used when submenus have been created in the topology. The right container, which hosts all direct controls and displays called up by the menu items, either in the left or in the bottom containers. The transparency options define how good one can see the screen information behind these containers. The option first container defines where the topology menu can be found and how many of the subsequent containers can be used. If the first container is on the left, then all three levels can be used. If it is at the bottom, you can use one more container on the right. And if your option is right, then no more levels can be used. Page. Here a sensible direct controllable page can be displayed. You can also set up its dimensions, width and height. The background image is only visible if the page is inactive. The menu buttons import and export are nearly the same like backup and restore in the web editor. They serve for saving and recovering the project. The button Activate finally will update the changes in the browser pages of the IP control center. Before you start to design the structure, you should already have a plan how it should look like. Otherwise you might become confused with all the options. When you hit the plus button, you must decide between menu, function and special page. Menu and special page buttons can only be added if no functions already have been created and vice versa. Every menu button can be expanded and another menu tree can be added. Functions are at the end of any menu tree. Considering the three available menu levels we have learned above, it would be sensible to create two menu levels such as the floors in the left container, the disciplines shown in the bottom container and the function groups finally in the right container. I start with the menu item conference. It has been designed to directly branch off to a list of functions. So when I click the plus icon, you can see there are only functions created. Settings. Any menu item requires a label. It can be password protected. Together with its selection an active page can be opened or a background image loaded. 
this is uh, only for the tablet visualization. The background image only makes sense without the active page. The option Next level on bottom is only sensible if another menu item follows. That means if at least two menu levels exist. Function calls. When you add functions finally, you have the choice out of 10 different ones. From lighting control to chart display. With a function type, again, several options are available. Depending on the complexity of the referred function, it can have a direct operation like switching or a detailed page with several controls and displays like HVAC or blinds. Then process items must be linked as usual, objects, groups or virtual data points. Functions also need a label and a sensible icon. A light control function for switching has just one object and three icons. Contrary to the web editor, single function controls are not available here. One bit operations are always toggle functions. The third icon is shown if the function does not work because, for example, the group address is invalid. Now simply link the created function and you're finished. All icons and controls are automatically generated. When you save the new function, quite different from the web editor, manual changes are not required. Choosing another subtype in the same function category also changes the available options as for icons, objects, text, labels, etc. For example, a subtype dimmer text in lighting allows to enter two control text labels for switching. However, this option works only with 8-bit control 0-100% for switching. Status feedback, by the way, always must be entered as second readable group address. So, like in the web editor, the recommendation is again, whenever a true status indication is required, use the group addresses directly, not the objects from ETS. After you have set the input, you must save these entries. Then the new menu item or function can be found in the topology. The convenience with the smart visu is that you don't have to worry about the property sign of a function because everything is already properly set. You only have to link the correct communication items. So the editing workflow is easier and faster. For a better understanding, let's do a little example. We want to add another function to the already existing Smart Visu. Via the Add Icon function, I create a new discipline. I call it Dimmer Lights and choose a suitable icon from the list. Filter by dimmer will reduce the number of possible icons very well. I click on the Save button to add it to the list of disciplines. Now I select the new discipline and click on the plus icon left and then on the other plus at the bottom line to add a function. I choose Lighting, Dimmer, Text. As the control icons are already OK, I only need to choose a suitable group address now. At first, of course, I select the 8-bit value control address, but afterwards also the value status, which belongs to this dimmer. As usual, the status address is marked as readable, so that the status will also be updated after restart. I save twice. Activate the Smart Visu once more, go to the control interface, IP address plus extension slash smart dot php, perform a refresh and can now control the new function. When you are in the detail page, you get back to the main or menu page 
by clicking the back or home buttons in the bottom line of the Smart Visu. Hint: Both user interfaces can be opened simultaneously, also on different devices, laptops, mobile phones, tablets, etc. Status feedback related to the same object or group address are always updated simultaneously in both user interfaces as well.